Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Norton. I'm a practicing endodontist in Louisville, Kentucky, and we've all used Gates Glidens in our practices for years. Here's the way I like to employ them in my practice. Now we're going to introduce Gates Glidden burrs into the tooth here. We're going to be using the Densupply MyFair Gates Glidden burrs. And what, what I really like about these burrs is their cutting efficiency. They're very easy to identify. Uh, we have our markings up here, two, three, and four, and that lets us know the size. So even though it's in your slow speed latch attachment, you can still see the color and know what size Gates Glidden you have. We are going to use the 32 millimeter length Gates Glidden in this tooth because our measurement is 23 and a half millimeters and I want to be able to use the, the full length of the Gates Glidden. They also come in 28 millimeter length for shorter teeth, but for this tooth, the 32 millimeter is appropriate. So this is a number two Gates. A little bit of some tissue there. And then we'll move to the number three Gates and as you can see, you can see the white right there. So number three. And I'm using a number four gates here. And really, the larger you go up in size, the more coronally you're going to use it. So you're not going to go as far into the canal. And I'm really cleaning off these walls, making sure that there are no pull porn is left behind. When we use a Gates Glidden Burr, and this happens to be a number two, we use it like a paintbrush. Just a very gentle motion here to clean off the side. And the Gates Gliddens are pretty flexible. As you get up in size, they get a little bit stiffer. And as we go up in size, we want to move more coronally in the canal. But it is a nice way to clean out uh, the coronal portion of the canal and you never want to force it. Again, it's just like a paintbrush, very gentle. And the smaller sizes have uh, more flexibility. Now we're going to introduce the Gates Glidden Burr, but as opposed to the previous case, this one we're going to stay much more coronal because the canals are tighter and much more dilacerated. So we're going to start out with a number two and a number two here in the palatal canal. Distal buckle, mesial buckle, and no, no pushing at all. Just again, very gently, like a paintbrush. And you can see that Gates Glidden flexing. It's a number two, so it's much more flexible than the larger sizes. I found that the quality of Gates Gliddens from Dentsupply MyFair are superior. Why don't you try them and see how they work in your hands?